it's time to talk about a super fruit, goji berries. Goji berries have a reputation for being so healthy, they increase immunity, supposedly, they make you live longer, supposedly, they cure cancer, supposedly, and they give you x-ray vision, supposedly, they make you fly, they make you see the future. You can, like, do so much with goji berries if any of the things people claim are true. And are they true? I don't care. I'm not here for health. I am here for flavor. So, uh, yeah, I was kindly sent two different varieties of goji berry by uh, Garrett. So Garrett, thank you so much for taking the time to send these to me. Uh, berries are a tricky thing to send in the mail, so thankfully uh, a few of these did make it and uh, look pretty good. He sent me two types. One of them is a Chinese variety and one of them is a Utah variety. This one right here is the Chinese variety and this one is the Utah variety. They look almost exactly the same. The Chinese variety is slightly smaller than the Utah variety, but he said that uh, the birds on his property really, really like the Chinese ones, don't really care so much for the Idaho ones. So we'll see if my tastes are similar to a bird's. He said also that uh, for better flavor in the Utah variety, uh, don't chew on the seeds. So that is something to keep in mind. And I also have a bag of the dried ones. But what people do with these in China is you can make tea out of it, you put it in soup, but in the US it's usually like it's in juices or it's in like granola and stuff like that. You kind of like slip it into everything because it's like a, it's a super food. I'm going to start with the Utah variety. I'm not chewing the seed. It's okay. It tastes a little bit like a nightshade, but a little sweeter. Maybe a little bit like the orange nightshade that I had, or like the black nightshade, a little bit more herbal. Now, nightshade is like maybe a little bit like tomato, because those are related. Some of them have a little bit of a licorice kind of flavor. These don't really taste like too much. You know, they're pretty mild. Okay, I'm chewing on the seeds now. I'm not really noticing a big difference, honestly. Um, it's maybe a little bit bitter, but not that bad. It tastes almost like a little bit salty. It reminds me of a very mild Gatorade. It's got like a little bit of sweetness, but pretty low. On a scale of one to 10, where 10 is a sugar cube, this is like a two. No tartness to it. Not, not too much to it. The Chinese variety is supposed to be better, according to Garrett, so let's, uh, let's try that next. Hmm. Yep. Better flavor. No, it reminds me a little bit of the um, goldenberry, or cape gooseberry, or ground cherry, or whatever you want to call it. The sweetness on this one's a little bit more. I'd say it's like a three out of 10. Maybe a four out of 10. No tartness to it again. The herbal flavor is much lower on the Chinese variety. I, I chew on the seeds, it doesn't make any difference really. They're a little bit juicier. Even though they're smaller, they feel like a little juicier. So those are actually pretty good. I, I like that. I, I think that is something that if, uh, if I had growing in my backyard or something, then uh, I would totally be picking those all the time to, to like blend them into things. I mean, if they are actually good for you, then um, they also taste pretty good. So that's that's nice. So it's been several months since I filmed the, the fresh goji berry video, and I wanted to come in with um, a different dry goji berry, because the one that I was holding in the video was this one, which I got from a uh, Chinese grocery store. And honestly, these are very, very bad. They're They're not very good. Um, they kind of have like a weird like herbal shop kind of flavor to them. I think just like wherever these were dried out, they probably were dried out in like a batch in a room with a bunch of other stinky things going around and it picked up those flavors. So uh, I did make a review of this and it just wasn't, it, I don't think it's an accurate 
uh, assessment on what goji berries taste like dry because I was not a fan <laughs> of these. Um, but since making that video, I was sent uh, a bag of organic, natural goji berries with nothing in it. The, uh, the Chinese ones here, these have um, sulfites in them. They've got some added chemicals to it. This is just 100% dried out goji berries. Okay, first let's get some tea going. I'm gonna put inside this pot a cup of water and one tablespoon of the goji berries. And I'm gonna let this come to a boil. While that's boiling, let's uh, try a couple of the fresh berries to show you what they taste like when they're dried out. I could eat those out of hand if I was so inclined, but uh, I can see why they're usually blended with something. They're not eaten like raisins or anything. The, if I were to relate this to like one other kind of like dry fruit, it feels a little bit like if I'm eating dry strawberries. It's got like a little bit of a strawberry flavor, but um, much more mild. And with the addition of that like slight bitterness. So it's not bad. It's not something I would be eating like by the handful unless I had a reason to. So if you do um, take stock in like all the, the health benefits and you want to take goji berries, I think the lesson here is that um, you should get like a good quality one, a good one that doesn't have any additional things in it instead of getting one that is cheap. This is like, this was $6 at a Asian supermarket, which is very, very cheap for what it is. Uh, I don't know what these go for, but I'm sure it's gonna be more than that. Uh, if you wanna try it out, go to foodtolive.com um, and see how much they are selling those, or you, you, know, you get them somewhere else. It's probably gonna be a lot more than what you get at the Chinese grocery store, but the uh, flavor, I imagine, is going to be better. So I'm going to try one of the, the Chinese store ones. It tastes stale and more herbal and more bitter. So I think if, you were, if you're going to mix it in with something, you maybe wouldn't notice it quite so much. But eating it straight like that, you really can. So um, I guess it depends what you're doing with it. Maybe those ones are fine for certain purposes, but if you're gonna be using it in any way where goji berries are actually like a highlighted flavor, I would avoid the cheap ones and get one like that's a little bit of a better quality. All right, it's boiling. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to turn this on to simmer and let that simmer for five minutes. If you're wondering what this sound is, it is my cat playing with a, a toy. So I apologize for the sound quality, but just look how happy she is. You can't deny that, come on. <laughs> so cute, my god. Okay, it's been about five minutes, so I'm gonna turn off the heat and strain it into this little glass here. It's got an interesting smell to it. It's very hot, too. I'm just trying not to burn my fingers here. You ever have Nissin brand oriental noodles? Like the ramen noodles that you can get for like 20 cents a pack? It smells like that. It smells very savory. I don't know what that smell is. Like maybe like a little mushroomy. Or if that's maybe... Um, ginger or something. Very savory. Whatever kind of um, sweetness and that like strawberry flavor that those dry ones had, and they're the same berries in there. Um, that's not coming out so much as the herbal flavor is. And that herbal flavor um, when you're putting it in like a tea, tastes more like a soup. A little oniony, a little salty even, a little mushroomy. Hmm. Which um, I guess makes sense because goji berries are used to make soup. 
I think if I were to make uh, a tea just to drink, I would put like some sugar in there, maybe some lemon juice, some other flavors to work with it to get it more into like a fruit-like flavor because that flavor is, um, it's not like tea, it's not like fruit, it is like soup. It's like way too savory, I think, to just drink uh, when you're wanting like an actual juice or an actual tea. But uh, yeah, if you blend it with something, I'm sure that it's fine. So I think that's about it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something about goji berries. Uh, I know I don't really have much to say in the way of health benefits, and that's why a lot of people go after goji berries. I haven't been really seeing a whole lot of information about the flavor of goji berries and what they taste like. If you're interested in having goji berries as something to grow or something to try, or if you want to go into the, the health thing, um, I hope this gives a little bit more information about what goji berries taste like. So uh, whether or not you abide by all that health stuff, they are still pretty good. Well, I really hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you did, you may want to check out the video that is below me right now. That should be good, too. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, it is a huge help to my channel, so please do consider subscribing or clicking that bell. That does something, too. Not sure what it is. Also, check out the description below. There's all sorts of other things I have going on. I don't even know anymore. But, guys, I will see you next time. Take care.